I didn't know that the love Kosi had for Black Boy was this deep. And it's surprising to find out this on the last day of the show. You'll find out all about it as we dive right into the video. Hi guys, welcome. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. If you're seeing me for the very first time, welcome back if you're a regular viewer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, the show is coming to an end. Who are you rooting for? Let's say it one more time in the comments. Now, let's talk about the reason why I decided to shoot this video. So Big Brother had their final diary session with the housemates and some of the conversations caught my attention and I just thought to come out here to talk to you guys about it. So let me start with Kosi. So, you know, he asked them how they are feeling knowing that today is the final day. Which position will you say, okay, I've attained that will say I am satisfied. For Kosi, she said, she doesn't mind whether she wins or not. If she even goes out first, she doesn't really mind. The fact that she's here till finale, that's okay for her. She's satisfied. Then he went ahead to ask her if she had any issues with anyone that she would want to resolve and then talk to Big Brother about it. So she spoke about Kanaga Jr. and the whole drunkenness that happened last night. But she was like, she talked to Kanaga Jr. about that. But the one that is making me talk about the whole black boy and friendship thing is what I want to talk to you guys about. So Kosi said for Ipeleng that she has an unresolved issue, but she doesn't even know if she should talk to Ipeleng about it. And it's the fact that when she came into the house, Ipeleng is the one person that she decided to make efforts to be friends with but the Peleng legit shut her out and she didn't you know she didn't push it but she now just was living her own life and everything up until the point where Ipeleng did what she did to Black Boy. That how on earth will you have the opportunity to take someone to the finale and you have your partner, you didn't take your partner with you to the finale. And she was like, she knows how much Black Boy was hurt by that, her action. And even for her, she was like, how we should do that? So it just made her feel some type of way about Ipeleng. And since after that time, she has just been looking at Ipeleng like, man, just stay on your lane. I don't understand you, you know, just do your thing. But this week, she has just been, you know, realizing that Ipeleng is a nice girl. She's a sweet person and she actually likes her and she's not as bad as she thought she was. But she doesn't know how she feels about it and maybe going to tell Ipeleng that, oh, when you did this to Black Boy, this was how it made me feel. So she doesn't know if that's an unresolved issue, but there is that, you know. So for us to not even notice that that thing got to Kosi this much and for Kosi to be feeling so bad for her friend, Black Boy, yo, she really, really likes Black Boy. I know many times in the diary room, she would tell Big Brother, oh, Black Boy is just my bestie, like Black Boy, I love him so much. I thought it was one of those talks, you know, because yes, they have their moments, but, you know, I didn't know that it was this deep for her to carry another person matter for her head, you know. Anyways, what do you think about this friendship and what do you think about what Kosi said? Let's talk in the comments. Now, let's talk about other people's diary sessions. So, Big Brother asked them this same question. So, for Kanaga Jr., he talked about him that he doesn't really mind. If he's second runner up to, he will not mind. But then again, just being here till the finale is just a lot for him. He's grateful. He's appreciative of everything, you know. Ah, then, for unresolved issue, he also talked about talking to Kosi about what had happened with them last night now let's talk about Yvonne Yvonne said she's not going to lie the satisfactory position that she would like to have is winning the prize like that's the reason why she came here and yes she's okay she's grateful don't get me wrong I'm happy as I'm here but winning the prize will be my satisfaction you know she said that then for Tati Tati also said she she wants to be like third position she didn't even find winner like if she's third position she'll be very very satisfied there may be whether I asked her about unresolved issues she said the only unresolved thing is just for she and KJ yes both of them they see each other every day they are in a position where they are getting to know each other and all that but now KJ is going to be going to Nigeria she has never even left South Africa she has not even gone to many cities in South Africa talk more of going to Nigeria or whatever but she doesn't know how the whole thing is going to be and it just really bothers her she doesn't know but it has been on her mind since this week she doesn't even know how she's going to feel people that had to even tell her that don't worry love will always find a way He's just one ticket away. So the fact that you couldn't fly before, know that you're a different person now that you are in this house. So when you come out of this house, you can just fly anywhere you want. She's like, yes, yes, that's true. He's just one flight away. Then for Ipeleng, Ipeleng came to the diary room and again, she started crying. I just pray that somebody can actually help Ipeleng because I don't understand how 
till the final day of the show she's still feeling the way she has been feeling from day one yes there are some improvements she tries to talk to herself about how she should be confident and courageous about who she is how pretty she is the fact that she still catches herself comparing herself to other housemates and feeling like she's not good enough as in it's just somehow so big mother was just asking her okay how are you feeling how are you preparing for the finale and everything she just started talking about how oh some people's hair were done some people's dresses big mother says comparison is a thief of joy don't compare yourself with anybody you know he had to talk to her and he told her that what will be your position if she was like anyone is fine and then she started crying do what i had to tell her before she left that room that see this is an instruction from me to you one final instruction when you leave this house know that you are more than enough and anytime you tell yourself that you are beautiful please make sure you believe it like believe it for yourself no matter what everyone else in the world is saying make sure you believe that you are beautiful and it blows my mind to think that how will Ipeleng not know that she's a pretty girl like Ipeleng is so pretty she's just talking about how eh, she doesn't even have makeup she came into the house she was looking so pretty and fine and everything but now she wants to go back outside and she doesn't even have what it takes to make her look that pretty but thanks to Yvonne Yvonne has given her this beautiful wig that she's going to be wearing lovely lovely wig I don't think Yvonne has worn that wig in this house but the wig is so fine is blonde and beautiful and i love it for her at least thank god she's going to get her confidence and big brother also has given them outfits all the whole outfits disturbance and all that tati had asked for finale outfit like last week so they brought outfit for them but we are also mentioned to them that if you don't want to wear the outfit that's fine anyone you choose is okay hold on guys how would i forget a boo boo a boo boo is like yo his diary session was so emotional. He was just talking about how he just hopes and prays that when he leaves this show, he doesn't go back to how he used to be, that he knows that it's not automatic and he has to work for it. You know, he was just talking about that. Big Brother had to encourage him and he was okay at the end of the day. You know, Big Brother now, he will always, you know, hype you up. Big Brother had to tell him, say I am extraordinary, say it's like you mean it, you know, encouraged him and he did that. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, they're getting ready. Let me know if your emotions are high as much as mine. Let's talk in the comments. And of course, I will see you when they have crowned the winner. It's just a few hours to go. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've come this far, you're the real MVP. And until next time, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.